all the people. Clap your hands. hands. Cry to God, God with shouts of joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that. With you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. This word came to Jerusalem from the Lord. Rise up, be off to the potter's house. There I will give you my message. I went down to the potter's house, and there was he, working at the wheel. Whenever the object of clay which he was making turned out badly in his hand, he tried again making of the clay another object of whatever sort he pleased. Then the word of the Lord came to me. Can I not do to you, house of Israel, as this potter has done, says the Lord. Indeed, like clay in the hand of the potter, so are you in my hand, house of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial song. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Praise the Lord, all my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God while I live. Blessed is he whose help is in the God of Jacob. Do <clears throat> not your trust in princes in the sons of men, in whom there is no salvation. When his spirit departs, he returns to his earth. On that day, his plans perish. Blessed, Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Blessed he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, and the sea and all that is in them, Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Open your hearts, O Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Thank you, Lord. Jesus said to the disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea, which collects fish of every kind. When it is full, they haul it ashore and set down to put what is good into buckets. What is bad, they throw away. Thus it will be at the end of the age. The angels will go out and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace 
where they will be, there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Do you understand all these things? They answered, yes. And he replied, then every scribe who has been instructed in the kingdom of heaven is like the head of a household who brings from his storeroom both new and old. When Jesus finished these parables, he went away from there. The gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise you, Lord Jesus Good morning. Good morning. Over the course of the last week or so, the daily readings have been aimed at giving us a different perspective on life through the seven different parables of Jesus. First, the parable of the sower, to prepare us to receive the word of God. The parable of the weeds among the weeds shows the reality of evil and our own fight for goodness. The parable of the mustard seed, how divine grace grows to shelter us. The parable of the yeast, how faith can transform our lives. The parable of the treasure in the field exemplifies the joy of finding God in our lives. The parable of the pearl of great price calls for our willingness to turn from self to the pearl of infinite price, Jesus Christ. The parable of a net cast into the sea. Today's lesson, a call to the awareness of the difference between good and evil. As he closes out this last parable in chapter 13 of Matthew, he asks the question, have you understood all this? I believe standing here this morning, he is asking us the same question. Would our answer almost surely be the same? Yes, the disciples spoke. But would there be true conviction, true devotion in this yes? And if so, do we not understand how fragile that yes can be? Jesus taught in parables to bring a common level of understanding to common people. Dr. Amy Jill Levine, professor of New Testament and Jewish Studies at Vanderbilt Divinity School in Nashville, Tennessee, in her book, Short Stories by Jesus, put it this way. Jesus told parables because they serve as keys that unlock the mysteries we face by helping us to ask the right questions. They continue to provoke, <coughs> challenge, convict, and inspire, and at the same time, they can amuse. She went on to say, he sought to prepare his people for the inbreaking of the kingdom of heaven. To prepare his followers for that inbreaking, he also asked them to pr prioritize what really matters and what does not. This morning, let us put away the myriad of interpretations of Jesus' parables and then begin to contemplate their meaning in relation to our own journey to the kingdom proclaimed by Christ. What is our pearl of great price? What would we do upon finding a great treasure in a field? Can we, like the fishermen in this morning's gospel, separate the good and the bad in our lives? I believe the answer to all our questions lies simply at the foot of the cross. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. For Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy, with the people entrusted to their charge, let us pray to the Lord. For those who hold public office and those who assist them in promoting the common good, let us pray to the Lord. For those who travel by sea, land, or air, for captives and all held in prison, let us pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered in this sacred place by faith and devotion and by love and reverence for God, let us pray to the Lord. For all those in our community, both here present and those watching on video, who are suffering, whether from physical, emotional, or mental illnesses, that they may be comforted by the resurrected Christ, let us pray to the Lord. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, For all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, joined through the intercession of St. Thomas the Apostle, 
let us pray to the Lord. And for Mr. Tim Creamer, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude the prayer of praise in honor of the blessed of the Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For to the earth and work of human minds will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For to the vine and work of human minds it will become our spiritual drink. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal lives through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word to be made all things, to be sent as our Savior and Redeemer. Incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you all the people he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glories with one voice, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of glory, Lord, 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 you are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sitting down in your spirit upon them like the big ball, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, I drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graces to grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. To await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you all. And we with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take the word of the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take the word of the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take the word of the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament of perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And be with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness of the snares of the devil. May God be with you when you come to the right, and if you are one of us, the heavenly host, by the divine powers, first in heaven, Satan, and all the other evil spirits who are wandered through the world, speaking to the root of souls. Divine praises. Blessed be God. God. Blessed be the Lord, man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus and the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, your soul. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be your holy assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and the name.